What's up guys, welcome to Revline89. So today we are going over future possible and most likely mods to the 4.0 Mustang. So, I hope you guys enjoy the photos and possibly some videos that we're going to have. And everything you see here is either in the works or it's something I want to do. It, I already have the parts. Um, I either... I'm in contact with the company working out a deal or it's something that um, I want to do in the future or it's an idea that I want to do in the future. So first up is definitely a stage 2 upgraded 4.0 V6 Pro Charger kit with an intercooler. Um, we would probably go with a polished Pro Charger unit and again with the upgraded blade just because it's you know it's a good option to go with even though it adds the basically the horsepower at 5500 rpms and higher still want to go with it because we want to squeeze out every inch of power that we can so that system is in the works in the future as well as a sunroof so a sunroof I think would be pretty awesome to add um, the photos you see here this is an actual S197 Mustang and it happens to be a V6 which doesn't really matter because the S197 GT or V6 same body style so it doesn't really matter but this person had a company install a sunroof in their S197 so that's something I think I would love to do in the future um, up next you see this is a little different um, the air intake system I want to tweak a little bit so what you guys are looking at is the red Mustang with white stripes this you see that little hood scoop at the top there that's actually functional now there's a problem because I do not have an, a stock hood and the kit is made for you know we we have the kit so that's something that's going to be done um, probably in the next three months or so that I'm going to do myself um, I want to work out a few things before that but basically essentially what it does it's basically for looks um, you might lower your air temp by one degree but it's not really going to make that crazy amount of difference um, if you use it directly as your air source, you might drop the temperature down, um, I don't know, three, four degrees, maybe. Um, and you might see a little performance gain from that, but it's not going to be massive. It's more for show. Um, now the problem is I have an aftermarket hood, but I want to make this work with my aftermarket hood. Um, so I have a cool custom idea that I want to do. I don't know if it'll work or not, but we'll see when the time comes. Um, and if I can't hook it up, you know, if I can mount it and it works with my aftermarket hood, but I can't hook up the air intake system because of the supercharger, um, then I will just have it for looks. I won't connect it. But I saw that a GT uh, 4.7 V V8 GT owner had the same kit and hooked it up with his pro charger as well so positions gonna be um, a little difficult we'll have, might have to customize some things but I wouldn't mind hooking it up with the system but we're not gonna mess with the actual air system of the pro charger so it would be basically like an add-on so it really wouldn't suck that much air through that so it's basically just for show up next we have these rims now I like the rims I have on um, I'm going to be probably swapping out the lug nuts. I have black ones that I want to put on for the lug nuts. I think that would help the contrast a little bit. But I really do like stealth looks of um, vehicles. So I would have thought about going all black rims or these black uh, chrome rims. But that's something that we'll see. We'll see in the future. And then, of course, a so-and-so blow-off valve you know it's um not a blow-off valve for well it, it does basically the same thing as a turbo blow-off valve um and this would increase the sound but some people said that it 
you know, if you get on the gas pedal just a little bit and let off, it'll make the sound and it just gets overly annoying. So that's something we might do in the future. We'll see. So that is a few things that will be coming up. So some things that I don't have any photos on, and that is 410 gears. We already have 410 gears and the whole kit. Um, an 8.8 .8 rear end, that is something that will be coming as well. Um, something that is in the works that we already got landed and we're, we're just waiting to hear back from the garage on stuff. Um, just patiently trying to, well, trying to be patient, just wait. Um, but what I can tell you right now that is in the works, that's already done deal, I'm just waiting on the garage. And I, I'd lie if it wasn't a little frustrating because I've been waiting for so long. Um, but you know it is what it is you know I'm a nice person so I'm not gonna complain that much and you know I'm just gonna you know hope that it gets done in a timely manner more so um, but anyway so stage 2 Pro Charger kit it's already in the works um, one piece all aluminum shaft masters drive shaft is already in the works Three new gauges, um, I think it's air and fuel ratio gauges, a wide band gauge, boost and uh, vacuum gauge, I believe. I, I already got all this stuff that's in the works. Also, a um, basically a housing unit for those gauges already in the works. Um, let's see, hood pins, that's already in the works, and... What else? What else? Dyno tuning, dyno runs, data logging, all that is in the works as well. So all that, we're just waiting. We're just playing the waiting game. And yeah, so that's in the works. Um, the 8.8 .8 rear end will be coming sometime down the line. I have been in contact with some people. You know, I've been, thanks to my sponsors, I got 410 gears um, for yeah beyond reasonable um so thank you guys huge shout out so we're just waiting on some stuff um let's see what else what else let's see here um we're also this is something that it's it's in the works but um i'm not quite sure yet what i want to do with that so it is the side fender stripes now I already have this have the kit so it just needs done but my problem is I was thinking about maybe saving it for the 4.6 s197 build and that is because I love my gold stripe it sends a message that it says v6 on the side you know I'm proud of the v6 I'm not ashamed of it and I like the stripe so this the fender vents, which these are uh, functional because they actually pull heat from your engine bay, which I kind of want since I have the long tube headers, but the hood's functional too, so that helps heat come out. But I don't know, I just think it's a really cool style, and I already have them. I just don't know what I want to do with the stripe because I love the stripe to me says it all. You know, the stripe is a huge factor to me, so I, I would have to figure something else out. I'd have to come up with another stripe that is equally as cool in my own mind um, if I do it, or I will save it for the 4.6 build. Um, that's just stuff on the top of my head right now. Some other stuff is um, I'm an old school person, so I want to jack the back end of the car up a little bit higher and then throw on some really wide tires to give that old school look because that's just what I like a lot of guys lower their Mustangs and that's awesome you know I think there's a few out there that have lowered their Mustangs and it looks good but it's just not my personal style it's not something that I personally would do I like the old school look and I'm not really worried about performance or any of that stuff I just like the old school look so we'll be doing doing that um, someday down the road and then, you know, we'll probably mess with internals and that kind of stuff that way down the road again. We already went through that whole mess of camshafts. We'll probably stay away from that. Um, 
but you know heads and other stuff we'll see what else is available and then of course um, transmission you know and just supports and other stuff for the car will have done as well but that's basically the gist of it right now and the semi long future and you know well basically the near future and the long future plans so thank you guys for following the build um, I hope to have really awesome content coming for you guys soon so fingers crossed that we get the call from the garage so we can get this stuff done thanks guys and it really does mean a lot to me that you guys subscribe to my channel I know it's just a simple press of a button and it shows a subscriber but it means a lot to me thanks guys